So we, we will just start right with that because everybody wants to know, how are the fantasy footballers doing with the news of the big trade? We're doing pretty well, And Mike. let me tell you this. We're doing freaking awesome, man. Oh, let's <laughs> pop some champagne. <laughs> oh, Jason is attempting his best to actually... <laughs> I didn't hit you, Mike. Oh... If you want to join this party, youtube.com slash the fantasy footballers. But look, here's the deal. The Cardinals have acquired DeAndre Hopkins. What did it cost, Mike? <laughs> Nothing, Jason. That's right. A little <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Clink. Oh, bottoms up. Mm, yes. It's party time, America. <laughs> so, Schefter reporting the Houston Texans are going to pay all of David Johnson's salary. Not yeah, I thought we were gonna cover half of it at least. No, they're gonna take the whole salary. So now it's just a matter of well, what did we have to give up? Yes. To get David Johnson off uh, and hit and that contract off the roster. And then I think it was about ten to fifteen minutes later. Oh! <laughs> DeAndre Hopkins became an Arizona Cardinal. All we gave up was a second round pick for him, baby. That's what Mohamed Sanu got. That's what Hayden Hurst got. Oh my goodness, we got DeAndre Hopkins. We should cover the fantasy implications as well of DeAndre that, Hopkins, of David Johnson. Those of, are fair things. <laughs> of these guys. That got lost. It did, but it well, it got it got delayed. Yeah, postponed. Yeah. Postponed. But yeah. it didn't get lost because here right. we are. We found it. So let's talk through <laughs> some of these guys. DeAndre Hopkins. Sure. My initial reaction was this take this is a hit. This is a downgrade for him. He's going from Deshaun Watson, who has proven uh, what he can do with Hopkins. The target market share for DeAndre Hopkins has yes. always been it's been either, over th it's over thirty percent. He's the league leader, or he's like top three every right. year. It's just unbelievable to the tune where years ago you said, "Well, it has to come down." Historically speaking, no, it doesn't, and no, it hasn't. Now, I'm saying it has to come down again, and maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's, maybe it's, no, there's a reason he gets so many targets because he's so stinking good. However, there's still Larry Fitzgerald. There's still Christian Kirk. Right. There are better options to throw the ball to in this system aside from DeAndre Hopkins. And you have more of a variable at quarterback, the unknown of Kyler Murray, that I think this is a slight downgrade at first. However, I do expect that the Arizona Cardinals as a team to have a significant increase in passing volume in total. Kyler threw the ball 542 times. As a rookie. As a rookie. And so that number will almost certainly go up. And, you know, if he's up at 600 uh, passing attempts, then maybe if the target market share drops for DeAndre Hopkins, but the total... That would be a lot if he was at 600. Yeah, I mean it would it would be in the top ten for sure in the league, but I I uh, I think that that's not that's not out of the realm of possibility. But the point is, if it raises and his market share goes down, well, if you're getting a smaller slice of a bigger pie, it can it can end up the same. I still think that you're clearly talking about a guy that will be in the top. Six wide receivers. Yeah, I would still be comfortable with him as top five. Yeah, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to drop him out. He he is super talented. And the one thing we can say is we've seen Hopkins with several different quarterbacks. Sure. Before Deshaun good Watson. Point. Remember when Tom Savage was starting? Yeah. Over Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Good one, Bill O'Brien. Yeah, he's Bill O'Brien has got got. Plenty of great moves in his history. Uh, but Hopkins has always done fairly well. He did have one poor down year um, when the quarterback play was too bad. But Kyler is not a someone you'd put into the category of poor quarterback play. Right. So what about David Johnson? This is David Johnson goes from if he was coming into this year, he stayed on the Cardinals and, and the Cardinals did resign Kenyon Drake. I would see it the same way that I saw it the second half of last season, which is Kenyon Drake's the starter. And David Johnson is a break glass in case of emergency player for this roster who's basically not used. So he goes from irrelevance to giant relevance, right? Because you had, you know, you, you look at what Duke Johnson and uh, Carlos Hyde did. Right. 
you put them together, they, they were phenomenal in fantasy last year. So, you know, obviously David Johnson's not going to come in here and be out there for a hundred percent of snaps like Christian McCaffrey and just take over, but there is a lot to like here in this system. I mean, the, they did trade DeAndre Hopkins to get David Johnson. Yeah. So the investment of saying this is it's a core, pretty large. It is. I will say this as an Arizona Cardinal fan, uh, as a fantasy analyst, as a professional in this industry that watches all the film and does all the uh, analyzing of metrics, David Johnson looked poor to me last year as a running back, not in the passing game, still runs great routes, has great hands. Uh, if you put him on a linebacker, he's, he's good enough. But when it comes to getting to the hole, hitting it with burst, getting to the edge, he seemed like he lost two steps to me. And I don't know that the change of system is the only thing that's going to matter. I'm worried. It might. I mean, he looked, he, he looked like he was analyzing things slowly where he just he really didn't fit the scheme. I agree. I mean, that it ended up making it look like he was just a poor runner. His pass catching still skills are still there. Duke Johnson will still be there. Duke Johnson only had 44 receptions last year, which for a, for a pass cat, catching specialist, 44 receptions at the running back position, that's fine. But I would have just off of the, the, the top of the head, I would still – feel comfortable with David Johnson as a top 15 guy. He's going to get the volume, like you said, the investment. And the investment into acquiring him equals opportunity. So he's going to be on the field. Deshaun Watson is great. The Houston Texans are going to score a lot of points. So I still believe that David Johnson will have fantasy relevance. The three downs, though, even if David Johnson's playing on three downs, Duke Johnson, 44 reception, that's not... That's not the area uh, that David Johnson would need to propel himself back into being uh, a top 10 running back. Well, that being said, we have seen that vacated targets historically, when the when a team has a bunch of vacated targets, it usually benefits passing to the running back sure. more than any other position. Obviously, DeAndre Hopkins leaving vacates a whole lot of targets. So I, I could definitely see them utilizing – uh, Deshaun Watson utilizing David Johnson in the passing game more than he's ever utilized a running back. I just worry he's going to be risky for me because he's probably going to be around 10 to 14 as far as running back placement in the draft. And he's got some red flags that say if he, there's another guy that I like about the same in his tier, I'm probably going the other way. He feels like one of those fourth round running backs. Where every year you in your draft, you get into the fourth round, you're looking at the running backs going, uh, fourth round sounds uh, pretty pretty okay to me. Like I'd be fine. But I'm saying, but the, the fourth. but the running backs who end up in the fourth round, it is just it's a nebulous, shapeless pit. Yeah, I I think he'll end up higher, but hopefully hopefully you're right, so that I can maybe try to have David Johnson on a couple rosters, see if he can fill that. Old Arian Foster role that Andy loved so much, and sure. so did every fantasy owner of Arian Foster and because he was phenomenal. Get Zooks! You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations! If you want to see more, click that subscribe button.